Okay, so what I started experiencing is sometimes when I turn the key on the truck, it would just, no clicks, no nothing, it just nothing would happen, it wouldn't start. But when I wiggled the starter solenoid around, it would miraculously start after that. So I could just do that, or instead of tempting fate, I'm just going to replace it. It's like 20 bucks at O'Reilly, and it's really easy to replace, so we're going to do that. Alright, first we need to connect the negative battery terminal. Now if it's like uh, my truck and there's not really a clear way to tell which is uh, positive and which is negative, you want to disconnect the negative. So if you can't tell from the battery itself, sometimes they'll have markings. Or you can actually go and look and see which one is the ground by following the cable. Like see this one, and it just terminates on the engine block which is a ground so that means this is the negative battery terminal you can also double check if you look at the other side and follow that cable you'll see it goes straight into the starter solenoid so got this one from O'Reilly like I said it was 20 bucks first we're just gonna look and make sure that it looks the same and sure enough it looks pretty much the same and all we're really going to do here is disconnect all the wires from here and then put them to the same spots on this one. One thing to also take a look at is this is actually a ground. You need to have this uh, whole thing grounded to the side of the truck. and It's really dirty underneath here. That could have actually been the cause of the problem. The solenoid may be fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to scuff up the side of the uh, truck so that way the new solenoid will make a good uh, ground contact. Because if it doesn't, this won't work anyway. Ideally, ideally you'd use some sandpaper, but like I said, I don't have any right now, so screwdriver it is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also, you can kind of see where... Uh, this is where the original sol starter solenoid was attached, and then for whatever reason, they decided that it was a good idea to just put two new holes here and mount it that way. I don't know why. It is what it is. It's an old truck. Take these off. You'll see that there's a little washer next to the nut. So I don't know why on the old one the nut was on the outside, but I think it's supposed to be like this because that's how it came. So... See if I can do this with one hand. You don't have to tighten it down like the Incredible Hulk, but you do want it pretty tight so it makes good contact. On this one, I just got to remove the nut entirely and the little washer and just reconnect. Same thing with this one. There, we got the lock washer and the nut. Pull it in. But once you got all your wires replaced, you can remove your old solenoid, reconnect the battery, and then try to start it. So, all these electrical connections, even a slightly loose one, can cause you problems. So, you want to make sure these are tight when you tighten them down. Another little tip, if you have to park your truck in the street like I do, um, I'm always concerned someone's going to steal it just because I've had a car stolen in the past. What I do is I actually just take the rotor out. Now this kind of depends on what kind of distributor you have, but it's really uh, unlikely that anybody will actually have a rotor arm that will fit in your particular uh, cap. So that's what I do. Even if they look under the hood, it's very unlikely they'll actually pop the cap off to see what's wrong. They'll just not be able to start it. It'll crank and crank and crank, sound like nothing's wrong, but they'll end up leaving it alone. 
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I had some problem with the audio because I recorded this all on my phone. I was in the middle of moving, so I didn't have my regular camera. But I was able to start up the truck just fine. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of show you how to replace the starter solenoid and give you a little anti-theft tip on your truck. So hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you around.